Hey guys, Civil Lord here, back in another action figure review. Today we'll be taking a look at the DC Multiverse Platinum Edition of J. Um, New 52 Reversed Flash. Not to be confused with the yellow fella from, uh, well, DC anything, really. His name Eadarthon or Eabarthon, something like that. This course brought to us by fine folks over at McFarland Toys, as well as the local friend who shall not be named for privacy reasons, who was nice enough to pick this up and hook it up. Um, as of the time I'm recording this, no sportsmaster from this wave of uh, platinum chases, but fingers crossed I can get my hands on him because, uh, well, he is one of the main bad guys from Young Justice, and uh, I need to figure. So... <laughs> Uh, at any rate, before we get too far ahead of ourselves, why don't we cut right to the chase and get into the taters of this review and take a look see it all reversed flash has to offer in terms of accessories. And uh, as part of the course with a speedster from this line, he comes with the lightning effect, so there's the one that plugs into his foot and on the back. And we also have the four skinny dudes that plug into his arms and legs. The short ones obviously plug into his arms. And then the long ones plug into his legs. Uh, he does also have a collectible trading card. The bio on the back. His last name is West, so I'm assuming he's related to Wally West. But uh, very interesting indeed. Take a closer look at a reverse flash here. Let's come to the hockey puck display stand where you sing with all McFarland Toys releases. And uh, yeah, he's on the same gosh darn flash body. We've been getting for quite some time. It's a little tall, I think, for Flash. I know the Wally West Walmart exclusive was on this body. The um, original Rebirth Flash was on this body. Here's that his leg is stuck in the diaper there. There we go. I think I got it out. Um, but at any rate, uh, we've seen this body a lot. I'm not a fan of how the effects plug in because it leaves these ruddy holes all over the figure. And uh, there's no way to cover that. So I do kind of wish they used a different body, maybe just the regular uh, normal size body. We've yet to get uh, one of those with the lightning effects. By that I mean a Blue Beetle Booster Gold body. So there's his head. He's got texture on the mask that doesn't exactly exist on the rest of the suit. So I don't know if he's supposed to have that all over or what. There you go, there's his face. He's got the long ears like the, um... Hmm. Is it the Greg Capullo Flash from the Red Death 2-pack? From Dark Knight's Metal? Regular Metal? Uh, but as far as articulation goes, this head can look up a little bit. Look down a little bit. Can tilt side to side, rotate. Um, shoulders will go up, back down, all the way around. He does have that rotator cap in there, so he can shift back and forth pretty well all things considered he's got a bicep twist I'm not gonna lie it doesn't get the best range but it is there double elbow not too bad as far as gappiness goes this is an older figure so they didn't have that problem per se he does have a ball hinge wrist so it can hinge, rotate, and rotate again. Diaphragm can go forward about that far. Back about that far. Tilt side to side. Rotate. He's got a waist twist. That works pretty well. I kind of wish they did to this body what they did to the uh, Rebirth John Stewart. They kind of retweaked the torso with like a... Uh, Kind of like a, a, a tube with a ball peg that went in the top and then the bottom and then like a rubber overlay that went on top of that. I kind of wish they did that here, but it is what it is. Hips will kick out to the side about that far. They will kick forward and back when the diaper's not wedged in there. He does have a thigh cut that works pretty well. still think that's a little bit stuck in there, but maybe not. Does have a double knee. There you go. Again, not too gappy. Not 
to egregious. And he does have a ball hinge foot that can hinge, rotate, rotate again, and then he's got toe joints, which on this body were never worth a darn. So there you go. That is your new 52 reverse flash. Do we even have a new 52 flash? I don't think so. It's a Wally West one counts or something, but uh, yeah, kind of weird. We haven't got any new 52 flash figures to my knowledge. Anyways, but uh, there you go. Uh, that said, you could maybe use this as a body for that uh, zombie flash, that dark flash. See, he's wearing a black suit to make a more comic book looking uh, dark flash, black flash, whatever you want to call it, flash. pop and swap the head but uh, that's it that's all I got for this one so let's bring in our two regulars here Mythic Legion's Brother Mandibuleth right there and the infamous current looking spawn who as usual yeah we'll see towers over everyone so with that being said it's time now that we wrap things up with some final thoughts Overall, and aside from the fact that good old Reversed Flash here utilizes the very same Flash body buck that we've seen over and over and over again, I still think the fine folks at Barlin Toys did a good enough job with what they had to work with to bring us yet another speedster into the DC Multiverse line. That said, gotta be honest, not the biggest fan of these effects. That said, they do stay on a lot better than most McFarlane Toys effect parts, so I guess there is that, I suppose. So, with that being said, if you guys enjoyed this review, until next time, I'll catch you guys later.